I'm Jared, a nonprofit consultant, and I would give IFTTT a five out of five stars. And for more reviews like this, click the link below. So before IFTTT, or um, if this then that, I would try using different shortcuts in different applications, um, like in my uh, Gmail account, in um, you know Apple Notes, and in different Apple products. Um, I would try to you know create like different kind of workarounds or triggers uh, using other tools like that, but I didn't really um, uh, find another tool like if this then that until. Um, it, it came along that could really allow other apps to communicate between each other in a way that was super simple and quick to set up and um, worked you know across platforms. I initially chose it because uh, it was free and super simple to, to sign up and start kind of playing with the tool and seeing different ways that I could um, set up uh, integrations and, and what they call recipes so it's a way for an app to uh, sync uh, or communicate with another app. Um, so that was the, the main reason was just how uh, I, I'd heard from other friends how easy it was to set up and use. Um, and there aren't really like limits in terms of um, so many syncs that can happen. So there's other tools out there that they may charge um, for the, the number of uh, like, like triggers or, or recipes. Um, but with if this and that, um, for what I needed, uh, I could stick with the, the free version and it's been able to do everything that I needed. Yeah, the setup process was super simple. Um, I was up and running with it in minutes, really. Uh, you just, you know, you create your free account. Uh, like I said, there's no, um, uh, you didn't have to put billing info on file or anything like that. I mean, they do have a pro version that you can upgrade to if you need to, but um, I got signed up you know, within a matter of minutes, and then they have recipes that other users have already put together um, for you. So I could just search for kind of what I was wanting to, to do. Um, and usually there was already something that someone else had set up. So I could just kind of use their same recipe. Um, and then I just added in my own kind of details to it to customize it a bit. Uh, but I didn't really have to create it from scratch. Um, so that was super simple and, and, and really quick um, and yeah so it's just been a great tool yeah for anyone else that's considering it uh, go ahead and sign up it's free um, you can test it out you'll get up and running really quick um, if you're looking for more of an advanced integration between like platforms or apps um, if this then that is designed to be pretty simple so um, there is a tool called Zapier as well. Zapier, uh, you can get a little bit more customized with um, what fields you want to sync between, like data between um, different platforms or, or apps. So depending on how robust your needs are, um, if this then that might be a better option for you. But if you're just looking for something more for, uh, like I've mostly used it just for me personally as a way to kind of stay organized and, and um, streamline uh, my workflows and um, uh, just just like my email and my reminders and different to-do lists that I have um, and then different things on like social media uh, it's been a great tool to, to use for, for doing all that and again it's it, it's free and, and super quick to set up